why would I be concerned about Ian Devlin on any level? The man's been dead for over a year. I guess we're about to find out. Devlin probably recorded everybody he talked to in Port Charles. And there we go, full circle. So why are you telling me? I just want to see if you're afraid, Claudia. And I think you are because you know that you're going to have to pay for what you did to Michael. You're implying, again, that I had something to do with Michael's shooting. Oh, I'm not implying. Well, I hate to disappoint you, again. I'm not your girl. You're a liar. I feel sorry for you. You're, you're like this obsolete war tank. No cause, no effect. You're all primed for battle, but your enemy is long gone. You're right here. I'm Sonny's wife, in case you forgot. You want to do your job? Try finding a real enemy. Stop wasting your scary energy on me. And while you're at it, why don't you update your grudge list? You know what, Jason? It's a tragedy. It's horrible what happened to Michael. But it's done. There's no going back and undoing it. Why can't you just... Just be happy that the kid woke up and he's okay. Is he? He wants to be. He does. He wants to move on. He wants to move on with his life and move forward. But you won't let him. You're stuck in the past and by God you're going to stay there, aren't you? Until what? You assuage your own guilt? Sonny's fierce enforcer. Hired to protect him. Asleep on the job. While your boss is under attack and his little boy gets shot instead. You know why Michael was here tonight, Jason? He said he wanted to spend some time with his father in the present. You know what he said? He said he wants to move on. He wants to move forward in his life. And I'm sure he's told you as much, but you won't let him. You can't let him because you have to have this enemy to push against, and if you don't, you have to look inside and see your own irrelevance. Man, the world is turning. You need to try to keep up. I'm gonna go spend some time listening to the recordings that Devon left. If I hear your voice, Claudia, I'm coming back with the enemy in sight. I know, look, I know that you're not exactly a four-star, but you must keep some sort of records. Uh, Dr. Ian Devlin, he liked to stay in these little roach motels like yours, and, um, hello. Oh, loser. Sonny's not here, so you might as well leave. I'm here to see you. Well, I'm feeling a little fragile today, John. I'm not really in the mood for you to tell me what a disgusting person I am and how much you hate me. I don't hate you. Really? Could've fooled me. Okay, do you want to hear what I have to say or should I show myself out? Listen. Well, I got pretty schnockered tonight. I'm trying to blot Olivia out of my mind. Get some relief. Didn't work. Not so much. But something else happened that uh, made me think about things. Carly went into labor in the Jake's parking lot. God, is she... the baby, it's too soon. No, no, no. Is the baby's okay? Yeah, the baby's fine. The doctor gave her some medication to uh, hold off the labor. You were there for that? Yeah, I was there with her when the contraction started. And well, I don't know if she was with me, I was with her. It doesn't matter. The point is. I saw firsthand what it must be like to hold a baby inside of you and at the same time worry and be afraid that you're going to lose it. It made me think about the hell that you must have gone through when you lost your baby and you're probably still going through it. I'm still furious with you, Claudia, and I'm still convinced that you did something to Olivia to force her to break up with me. But at the end of the day, 
You are my sister, and I love you. I could never hate you. I just wanted you to know that, okay? I've missed you so much. You don't even know. I, I just about given up hope, you know, that we were ever going to be close again, John, and that hurt me. That hurt me so much. Well, I did miss you too, Claudia. But that doesn't mean I'm okay with what you did to Olivia. Can we please not talk about her? No, Claudia, she's important to me, okay? Like it or not. So tell me, what the hell did you do to her? I to didn't. Break up with me? Wait, I didn't. But if I did, Johnny, mm -hmm. she is an adult woman, freedom of choice. She could have told me to go pound sand. Instead, she broke up with you. That should tell you something about her. Okay, but I wanted to be with her. And that wasn't going to change anything between us. You know what, John? I'm not going to pretend that I'm sorry that you guys aren't together. I was happy. Claudia, and ever since we were kids, you've always said that you wanted that from me. But she doesn't deserve you. Deserve? <laughs> what the hell does that even mean, huh? I love her. No. You think you do. I know. What you feel for her is infatuation. Johnny, you love me. And I love you. And that's the way that it's always been. And that's the way that it's always going to be.